I'm Diane Arthur, and welcome to Surprise Progress TV, your hometown news source. City Council has approved sending three general obligation bond questions in the areas of public safety, traffic congestion mitigation, and pavement preservation to the ballot in a special election November 7th of 2017. Now, all registered voters in Surprise will receive a ballot by mail. We've created a special Decide Surprise website where you can learn more about the projects, the cost, and voter information. It's surpriseaz.gov slash decide surprise. Now the public safety question would fund $34 million worth of projects that include a public safety evidence and readiness center, the renovation of an existing city facility into a police training facility, acquire land for future fire station, police substation, and a park in the growing southwestern portion of our city. It would also fund a new fire station at Cactus and Litchfield Roads, build a permanent fire station along 163rd Avenue just south of Happy Valley to replace the current temporary station, but also consolidate public works operations facilities in a centralized operation. Now the annual cost for a homeowner would be approximately $26 per $100,000 in limited property value. The transportation question asks voters to consider a $15.5 million street bond proposal to provide funds to plan, design, construct, and improve sections of Waddell, Greenway, and Litchfield Roads. The annual cost for a homeowner on this question would be approximately $12 per $100,000 in limited property value. The $10 million street pavement preservation bond proposal would plan, design, construct, replace, and improve deteriorated street pavement citywide. Now, the annual cost for a homeowner on this question would be approximately $8 for $100,000 in limited property value. General obligation bonds are sold to investors and repaid with interest. The repayment comes from a secondary property tax, which currently we do not have here in the City of Surprise. Now, if all three questions are approved, the annual secondary property tax could be up to $46 for $100,000 in limited property value. That's approximately $4 per month. You can determine the exact cost on your property by following the steps listed at surpriseaz.gov slash decide surprise. Now the city will schedule a series of educational public meetings ahead of the November 7th special election. We'll post those meeting dates and locations online there as well. Voter registration for this election closes on October 9th. You can register online by visiting the county recorder's website, or you can stop by the Surprise City Clerk's Office in person Monday through Fridays 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Council also approved a $275.8 million fiscal year 2018 budget that maintains existing city services and identifies creative options to maximize some resources. That includes securing outside revenue sources and reallocating the operating budget to provide new positions to address public safety, water, and inspection demands. The budget also maintains the city's current property tax rate of 0.7591 per $100 of assessed property valuation. Now due to new construction and some higher property valuations as assessed by Maricopa County, it would generate approximately $380,000 in new money. The budget also dedicates $49.8 million to support the city's capital improvement plan. That's used to maintain, preserve, and or replace city infrastructure. Council will vote to set the property tax levy at their June 20th meeting. The FY18 budget will be available at surpriseaz.gov slash budget. Well, the City of Surprise, in partnership with Valley Metro, will be hosting a public outreach meeting on Wednesday, June 14th, to provide current Northwest Valley dial-a-ride passengers an opportunity to learn about the new transportation service models, which kick off on July 1st. That's as we transition out of the dial-a-ride service into ride choice in Valley Metro paratransit. The meeting is at City Hall in the community room, from 4 to 5.30 p.m. Information about the shared senior bus route will also be presented at that meeting. A road construction to extend Civic Center Drive to one lane in each direction between Paradise Lane and Bell Road is scheduled to begin later in the month. When complete in September, the roadway will provide direct connection to the City Hall from Bell Road. As development occurs adjacent to the roadway, there are plans to fully build out Civic Center Drive of two lanes in each direction with a center median and sidewalks. A city council-led initiative to assist community organizations in providing programs and events that benefit residents is now accepting applications. The $65,000 Surprise Community Outreach Program provides up to $10,000 to selected nonprofits or those partnered 
with the 501c3 agency, all to help support and grow qualified local programs and events to improve the health and welfare of Surprise residents. The funds are distributed by reimbursement it's through an invoice process. Applications are available at surpriseaz.gov slash community outreach program and they're due by Friday, August 11th. A pre-application meeting will be held July 12th at 11 a.m. in the Surprise City Hall Overflow Room. Want more details? Call 623-222-1330. City of Surprise also has been selected as a national finalist for the 2017 MetLife Foundation Generations United America's Best Intergenerational Communities Awards. It's a mouthful, but it's a great honor. Since 2012, the awards program has recognized 24 innovative communities across America that are leading the way by incorporating programs that engage the wisdom and vitality of all generations. Our city offers many intergenerational programs, including the City Court Explorers program, it's where high school students explore career opportunities in judicial and legal lines of work. The Helping Partners program offers vocational training for adults with cognitive and developmental disabilities. It's offered by nonprofits, Benavia, and One Stop Beyond, all in partnership with the city. And our Summer Youth Employment Program provides summer jobs for teens to work right alongside city staff. On behalf of the City of Surprise, thanks for watching. <music>